All right, what's going on, guys? In all the time of speculation and keeping up with news surrounding Elden Ring DLC, I do think the last week of news and everything we have to cover today may just be the most promising and most credible that our wait for information is finally coming to an end. Now, the goal of today's video is not to sell you hype. We are ultimately only dealing with percentages here and possibilities. No one knows the exact date in which the trailer is going to drop for Shadow of the Erd Tree, but based off the information we have to discuss today. It sure does look like that trailer is going to be dropping very soon. Today we're going to be speculating about information from official sources, breaking down everything that's been happening over the past few days, and creating realistic predictions of what all of that means. So as we begin today, if you enjoy all things Elden Ring and want to stay up to date on the news, lore, and discussion, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and now let's get into it. Our first order of business is a follow-up from last week's video. In that one, we discussed a new DLC package that had been added to Elden Ring's files over on the Steam version of the game where back-end work gets done. Now, the section in which this package was added is specifically reserved for paid add-ons to the game, which is why the only things you'll find in there are the pre-order bonuses, since Elden Ring currently doesn't have any other DLCs or content locked behind a paywall. Now, the reason that was significant is because if this is Shadow of the Erd Tree, which it more than likely is, then this is the beginning of Shadow of the Erd Tree going to market. It is being uploaded to be pushed out with the game, and the storefront is being created. It should start receiving marketing very soon. But we have a lot more to build off of that. After this news came out, a lot of people began to notice that in the past, when these DLC depots were added to the game on SteamDB, it always happened roughly a month before the actual trailer of the DLC went live. So if we apply this logic, then as we've been saying for a while, the trailer should go live in February around the anniversary. And let me remind everybody, even though we are in unprecedented times of all these signs pointing that the DLC, at least the trailer, should be coming really soon, suspend all serious hope until February. But we'll build off that more in a bit. A few days after that came out, there was yet another DLC update on SteamDB, this time under a development depot. You can see here that there was a change on Friday, January 19th, where several development updates for Elden Ring were done behind the scenes. However, if you take a look at the descriptions, you can see that the same DLC depot that was added last week was now added into the game's backend files. Not only does it also have the DLC tag, but you can see there the numbers are the same, app 2778580. And when these files were added, you can see there about halfway down the development depot, it was also encrypted. Now, if you have absolutely no idea what any of that means, let me try my best to explain it. Now, if you haven't watched our videos before and don't know what SteamDB is, this is a public website that anybody can access that shows when backend work is done on PC builds of games. Now, it's not the most reliable thing in the world for predicting when updates are going to go live, but it is very useful in seeing what kind of work is being done behind the scenes whenever developers choose for that information to go public, since these are not leaks or rumors. Now, typically when something goes live on this website, it's because a new build of the game was created, one that's accessible through the PC build on Steam. Now, if they need to do some testing before creating a patch for that build to go live to the public, or if someone out of house needs to test that build through Steam, then we'll see all of those changes here. But when it comes to this DLC depot, when we saw it added, we weren't entirely sure what exactly it was going to be because it could, in all reality, be some form of microtransaction or digital media. But now that we see it here, this all but confirms that what we're looking at is Shadow of the Erd Tree being uploaded to the files. And the fact that it is going this way means that somebody with this build of the game is playing Elden Ring with that DLC installed. Now, I'm not an expert programmer or data miner for that matter, but somebody who is may be able to answer this question for me, since these have been added to a build of the game, doesn't that mean that whenever the next update for Elden Ring goes live, these files will be able to be extracted? Now, I'm not encouraging data mining or getting into things that you shouldn't have access to. It's just an interesting thought, since we've had DLCs leak that way before. But take all of what we just covered there, and now let's look at another piece of news that happened. Quite possibly one of the best signs that a trailer is coming very soon is that all of the main Bandai Namco channels have begun updating their Elden Ring YouTube play lists. Starting on January 4th, the Bandai Namco Europe channel, which is the primary channel outside of From Software that uploads Elden Ring trailers, updated that Elden Ring playlist. Shortly after that, sometime last week, the Bandai Namco Entertainment America Elden Ring playlist was updated. Now, they do post a lot of other videos aside from trailers in this playlist, such as Fighting Cowboys guides, and at that point, it was possible that it could have been somewhat of a coincidence that was until Bandai Namco Southeast Asia updated their Elden 
Ring playlist only a few hours later. So with all of that, the chances of all of these updates, which are exceedingly rare by the way, being a coincidence were zero. What this shows is a clear coordinated effort to prepare some form of marketing for Elden Ring ahead of the two year anniversary. Now these are the primary Bandai Namco channels that upload trailers, and these playlists don't just get updated like that. In fact, the only times we ever do see updates like this are when a new video is added. Now let me preface that with something real quick. Typically, when you add a video to a playlist on YouTube, even if that video is unlisted or private, there will be a little pop-up that says videos are hidden. Now I don't know if companies have a way to get around that, I'm not sure if there is a method or not, but what this looks like to me is that they got the Shadow of the Erd Tree trailer and are scheduling a coordinated launch. The only other possibility is that they reordered some videos, but they're already automatically chronologically sorted by YouTube, so that would make no sense in the first place. Now I'm not saying the DLC trailer is already uploaded on their channels and just privatized until a certain time. I think that probably is the most likely situation and definitely what this looks like. However, this does show a clear coordinated effort and attention put to their Elden Ring trailer playlists and that right there should tell you what you need to know. Even if the trailer is ready to go, there is one thing to keep in mind about Bandai Namco and that is that we're coming up on the release of Tekken 8. That is their other main focus of the year. Now that game will be coming out later this week on the 26th and I highly doubt they would drop a DLC trailer for Elden Ring before that game's release. So here's where we get to my predictions. Like I said at the beginning, I think the safe thing to do is shelve all your hype until at least February. And if you want to be even safer, the Elden Ring anniversary on the 25th. Everything that we've talked about in this video is groundwork. They're setting the stage for the marketing to finally begin. And that's how it's always been with Bandai Namco when it comes to From Software games. They're radio silent for a very long time, and then like a bomb going off, they flood us with more information than we can handle. It may not be the most consumer friendly thing in the world, especially when it comes to us ravenous fans, but it sure does work in getting those sales. So if I had to put money on anything, I think they'll probably just respect the tradition and drop a trailer on the second anniversary, or wherever the nearest Tuesday is around that date. We might be lucky and get it earlier, but I'm going to play it safe this time around. But to put a bow on all of this, combined with the things we talked about in last week's video, when it comes to the end of our wait of finally seeing Elden Ring DLC, barring the official announcement, nothing we've covered in the last year has looked this good. All of these events right here preceded every From Software DLC in the past within very close proximity. And although Elden Ring is a rule breaker, this still has me very hopeful. Again, I'm not trying to sell you hype here, but I also don't want to downplay the legitimacy of the things we've talked about. Sure, we've had wild speculation and rumors that we've covered here on the channel, but the sources of this are the game itself and the game's producing company. So if you've been sleeping for the past year, it might be time to wake up. Anyways though guys, that is going to do it for the video today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like on it and let me know all your thoughts down in the comments section below. Be sure to subscribe if you're new around here, but with all that, I will catch you in the next one.